so hello friends now moving to the next part of our topic that is lipid autocoids okay so in our previous video we have discussed about the treatment of migraine and we are uh, particularly discussing about the autocoids okay so next part of our discussion will be lipid autocoids in which in this particular video we will discuss about the prostaglandins okay so let's and uh, start the discussion of prostaglandins so we will discuss the types drugs and usage basically so first is your pge1 okay pge1 analog so what are the drugs coming under this so misoprostol lubiprostol zimeprost and alprostadil okay these are the four drugs which are pge1 analog that is misoprostol lubiprostol zimeprost and alprostadil so misoprostol what are the uses of misoprostol so it can be used for abortion up to 63 days it can be used as an abortifacient drug then it can be used for NSAID induced peptic ulcer okay although drug of choice will be PPI but misoprostol is also used for NSAID induced peptic ulcer okay then it can be used to open ductus arteriosus okay in case of PDA which is a congenital heart disease okay now what are the side effects of misoprostol so most common side effect is diarrhea by increasing chloride secretion in GIT it causes diarrhea and it is also in contraindicated in pregnancy because it is a category X drug. It is also teratogenic and leading to Mobius syndrome that is sixth cranial lung malformation. So these are the important MCQ examination which can be asked in your PG exam. Okay. Now coming to levoprostone, so it is used for the treatment of constipation in IBS patient. Zimoprost can be used for abortion up to 63 days and alprostadil the most common use for the treatment of erectile dysfunction although it can also be used for opening ductus arteriosus and critical limb ischemia now coming to this next receptor that is your pge2 so it causes dilatation of lower part of uterus okay and the drug coming under is dinoprostone so this dinoprostone is basically drug of choice for cervical ripening for cervical ripening dinoprostone will be drug of choice now most common side effect is diarrhea and osteoporosis which are associated with this dinoprostone then pgf2 alpha and pge1 both causes contraction of upper part of uterus okay and pgf2 alpha agonist are dinoprost and caroprost mind it pge2 dinoprostone pgf2 alpha dinoprost and caroprost induction of labor and pph to control bph and the side effect which are associated with dinoprost and caroprost is asthma now coming to topical prostaglandins so latanoprost bimetoprost Trifoprost and Tafluprost and they are used for glaucoma because they increase uveo scleral outflow so they can be used for the treatment of glaucoma and also for hypotrichosis. Now the side effects trichomegaly, iris pigmentation and they are contraindicated in case of uveitis because this is an inflammatory condition and prostaglandin analog will increase the inflammation. So side effects are trichomegaly and iris pigmentation and usually are glaucoma and hypotrichosis. Now coming to PGI2 okay so it relaxes smooth muscle so causing vasodilation and bronchodilation it is also antiplatelet nature and they are released from endothelial cells and the drugs are treprostinil, iloprost and evoprostinol and the uses are pulmonary artery hypertension then antiplatelet drug during hemodialysis and through inhalation it can be used for the treatment of asthma now coming to thrombexin A2 analog it causes vasoconstriction and increases platelet attachment and the component is digoxibane the drug is your digoxy sorry the drug will be digoxibane mechanical action it emits TXA2 synthase and causing vasodilation so these are the brief intro about the prostaglandin in exam you will get short note on the types of receptors and the drugs which are acting upon those receptors and uses now along with it one more important point we will discuss in this video that is phospholipids after the action of phospholipase A2 it converted into arachidonic acid and now two pathway works cox pathway and logs pathway so from cox pathway you will get pgi2 txa2 and pgd2 e2 f12 bar and through logs pathway you will get leukotrienes okay b4 c4 d4 e4 like this along with it also lipoxins you will also get lipoxins now some drugs classification so corticosteroids these enzymes, these drugs inhibit your phospholipase A2, NSAID inhibit 
कॉक्स इंजाइम जैल्यूटोइन ओके जैल्यूटोइन इन्विटेड लॉक्स इंजाइम लिकोफेलॉन इन्विटेड कॉक्स प्लस लॉक्स ऑल्सो सरिम्बर लिकोफेलॉन दिस इन्विट कॉक्स एंड लॉक्स बोथ एंड देन एपाफेंट मोरीफेंट एंड लिक्सीपेफेंट ओके दे इन्विट प्लेटेड एक्टिवेटिंग फैक्टर सो दे कैन यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एक्यूट पेंकिटाइटिस इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर एनसेट सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग and best of luck and please 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 if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe and support us